The assault weapon ban of 2019 is about to receive its vote in the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, what day? What will happen? Stick by. Check this out. Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. Today's Monday, it's the Monday Morning Grind, sponsored by Blackout Coffee. Real quick, I know people get bent when I do a long soliloquy here, uh, but we're starting something today where you can help our troops overseas. Uh, if you, For every three bags of coffee purchased, use my link, uh, Blackout Coffee will send a free bag to over, uh, overseas to, to units that are... Uh, defending our freedom okay every three sold one free goes to the men and women in uniform it doesn't have to be one person by three and one gets shipped it could be three individual people by one one gets sent as well also every care package that blackout sends overseas to our men and women uh, serving and protecting there will be a letter with a list of names of everybody who purchased coffee to make this possible so they'll also see that you are supporting them and it's going to help them uh, feel a little bit little bit better about their day. Also as a special note, uh, if you have a loved one or someone you know is stationed overseas, if you want to specifically have coffee go to them, on the Blackout Coffee website, go through my link, look for the I am deployed section, click on it, fill out the form, and they'll be sure to send some coffee their way. I'm so grateful that Blackout Coffee has created this, and this is going to be called Operation Blackout, and what better way to give back? Let's get into today's news. That's right, you heard me correct. The assault weapon ban of 2019 is scheduled to be heard by the House Judiciary Committee this Wednesday, September 25th, 2019. This bill, uh, you've heard it be before on this uh, channel back in January, but this is the baby of David Ciceline, Chickaline Tyranny, that's how you say his name. He's a Democrat out of Rhode Island, and uh, it looks to ban a lot of stuff, okay? I'll give you a quick list of what this will look to ban if passed, uh, and it's staggering the amount of stuff that's in this bill to be banned. I'll also have a link down below to the bill itself, it's HR 1296, and it would look to ban any semi-automatic rifle or pistol that has the capacity to have a detachable magazine and features one of the following, pistol grip, forward grip, folding or telescoping or detachable stock, threaded barrel, barrel, barrel shroud, or a whole bunch of those evil features. I'll also have a link down below that you can click on. It'll bring you to the House Judiciary Committee members, all 41 of those evil SOBs who are not listening to the American people that are trying to carry out their agenda to disarm you and I, honest, everyday Americans. And um, it's going to pass the House, mark my word. It'll go uh, onto the floor to be scheduled to be go on the floor for a full vote in the House. Now, they do have the votes there if you just take it by the party line. They have the votes to pass it through the House to send it to the Senate. I don't know, I don't think Mitch McConnell will bring it up, <laughs> but how many of us can be very certain on what the Senate will do uh, with all this back and forth about we want to ban something, we want to do something, we want red flag bills, we got to do something, think of the kids. Think of the children. Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? Now, HR 1296 currently has 211 co-sponsors. Also sandwiched in this ban uh, is a semi-automatic shotgun that has any one of the following. A folding, telescoping, or detachable stock, a pistol grip, a fixed magazine with the capacity to hold more than five rounds, uh, the ability to accept a detachable magazine, a forward grip, a grenade launcher, uh, so they're going after shotguns as well, as well as any shotgun with a revolving cylinder. Now here's the fun part, I'm going to try to rip through this because there's a lot of it. Um, all of the following rifles, copies, duplicates, variants, or altered facsimiles with the capability of any such weapon thereof to include all AK types. All AK types. Including the following. AK, AK-47, AK-47S, AK-74, AKM, AKS, ARM, the MAC-90, the MISR, the M NHM-90, NHM-91, Rock and River Arms, uh, the Wasser 10, the Vepper, the WM, Vector Arms, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, Segas, um, Narinkos, Polytex, they're all here by name. Also, all AR types, including the following, AR-10s, AR-15s, Alexander Arms Overmatch Plus 16, Armalite M15-22, long rifle caliber, so they're going after 22s as well, 
Armalite M15T, the Barrett REC7, uh, the Beretta AR70, the Black Rain Ordnance Recon Scout, the Bushmaster ACR, the Bushmaster Carbon 15, the MOEs from Bushmaster, the XM15, uh, Kiapa Firearms, M4 Rifles, uh, Colt Match Target Rifles, Core Rifles, Daniel Defense M4A1s, uh, Devil Dog Arms 15 Series, Diamond, uh, the Diamondback DB15, Double Stars, DPMS, DSA, H&K MR556, High Standard, the Jesse James Nomad, which is gorgeous, uh, Knight's Armament, Lancer, Mossberg, uh, Hydra Series from MGI, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, again, by name, Remington, uh, Remington Arms R15, the Rhino Arms, Rock River, Sig Sauer, uh, Sig F516 and the MCX rifles, the SKSs with detachable mags, Smith and Wesson MP, M and P15s. Uh, it's all there. Stags, you name it. Sturm and Ruger, Yankee Hills, the Barrett M107A1, the Barrett M82A1. Um, you name it. It's probably in here. There's a lot more. You can click on the link and check it out. Uh, it's it's uh, starts on paragraph G H. Paragraph H. Paragraph I says all of the following pistols, copies, duplicates, variants, or altered facsimiles with the capability of uh, any such weapon thereof. All AK-47 types, including the following. Now remember, it said pistols. So these are your AK pistols, your AR pistols. Again, a lot of them listed specifically by name, and brand, model. You can take a peek. Just look at paragraph I. The next paragraph all of the following shotguns they're looking to ban. Copies, duplicates, variants, blah, 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 you know. Um, the Daria Anacon MC 1980. Uh, the Doric Lethal Shotguns. The Franchies. The Segas. All the Segas. The Sega 12s, the 12S, the K, the XP-01. They're all on here. Um, strikers. The Street Sweepers. Also, all belt-fed semi-automatic firearms. All. Also, all combination of parts from which a firearm described in subparagraphs A through K can be assembled. So your build kits, your lower kits, your upper kits, all will fall under this assault weapons ban of 2019. Also, <laughs> large capacity feeding devices, any magazine, drum, belt, feed strip, or similar device, including any such device joined or coupled with another in any manner that has an overall capacity of, or that can readily be restored, changed, or converted to accept more than 10 rounds of ammunition. Of course, it does not include any tubular device capable of operating only with 22 cal rimfire. I guess they're throwing us a bone there. We can have our little 22s. Now, grandfather clause. Uh, paragraph one, shall not apply to the possession, sale, or transfer of any semi-automatic semi assault weapon otherwise lawfully possessed under federal law on the date of the enactment of the assault weapons ban of 2019. Also shall not apply to any firearm that is A, manually operated by bolt, pump, lever, or slide action, or B, has been rendered permanently inoperable, or C, is an antique firearm as defined in section 921 of this title. It also goes into safe storage stuff. Uh, it also goes into identification markings for semi-automatic weapons. Uh, it says, quote, the serial number of any semi-automatic assault weapon, stupid term, manufactured after the date of enactment of the assault weapon ban of 2019 shall clearly show the date on which the weapon was manufactured or made, legibly and conspicuously engraved or cast in uh, on the weapon and such other identification as the Attorney General shall, by regulations, prescribe. Uh, you also have a large capacity magazine um, manufactured after the date of enactment of the Assault Weapons Ban of 2019 shall be identified by a serial number and the date in which the device was manufactured or made. Again, legible, blah, 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 blah. But it's a very bad bill. You get it. There's more, but you get it, okay? The House Judiciary Committee will meet Wednesday. I'll have a link that you can reach out to them. You can contact them. Contact your representatives. I'll have a link as well to the switchboard phone number for the uh, for the Capitol. You can just say where you're from and they'll connect you to your congressman or woman. Uh, they need to hear you. They need to hear you loud and clear. Please don't forget, starting today, running through October 7th on Blackout Coffee, use my link. For every three sales, they're going to send one free bag of coffee overseas to the troops who are in need. And they're going to send those out between the last week of October and the second week of November so that the troops will get them for the holidays. Thank you all for your support. Until we see each other again, this is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Be safe. Stay vigilant. Carry a weapon. Take care, everybody.